In this tutorial, we will allow the user to pick up an image. So in order to do that, we need a package. So in here, let's search for image picker. And it will be the first one, image underscore picker. And of course, it's not safety support. So let's go. And it supports Android, iOS, and web. So let's go and copy this. And now let's go to the popspec.html file, paste it here, save the file, and quit the process, and run the application again to make sure that everything is working correctly. Okay, so it's been running, and uh, let's go back to the add prods and in here I want to start creating a new function for the image picker so let's say in here it will be a future later on in the firebase section I will talk more about the futures so let's say future void of type void and let's say in here pick image and now use a sync keyword and now I want to do a check if it's mobile or web because it's not the same okay um, the process is done actually and I got no errors so this is great okay um, let's continue and now to do if uh, a check about if it is uh, a web or not it's very simple there is something called K is web just like this so the first case I want to check if it's mobile so if it's not web, we can now initialize something called image picker. And I will name it picker like this. And just initialize it like this. And then we need to initialize something of type X file, which is can be null. So in here we need to await the picker that we just initialized and called pick image function to it and we need to specify the source which is can be camera, gallery, so on. Like this. Of course in our case will be uh, it will be a gallery. So now we need to do a check about this image. So let's check it if it's null. We can return or we can directly check if it's not null and do the work. So let's do it like this and I will initialize something called selected and it will be file to get the image path so uh, let's get the image path like this and for this file we need to import something so let's import dart.io like this and and now we need to use this image so in order to use this image, we need to initialize something. So let's initialize a variable of type file. So let's go up. And in here, let's say file picked image. I will name it like this. And now this picked image can be used down below. So let's go down. and in here we can call set state and now we can put the picked image variable that we just initialized equal to the selected just like this so this was for the mobile now we can do else we can show an error for example or just print something or just return um we can i will just print no image has been picked like this now for the this f statement so now the web case so I would say else if k is web we will do almost the same work so I will copy all of these and paste it here so what I want to do first is uh, to get rid of uh, this in here and start writing the code so i will initialize var i will name it f and uh, let's await it and say image dot read as bytes 
because the type will be different it will be soon you will know how it will be so in here we call set state and now we need another variable similar to the picked image in here so uh, in here we need to initialize something called uint8 list of this type because it's a web image so it's like this and let's initialize it to a value we can initialize it to 8 and I will keep it near 8 like this now we can use this web image in here so let's say web image and put it equal to F like this now later on to avoid errors about picked image and to avoid confusion let's put the picked image to file a now this one is not important but we can do it like this it's it's fine to avoid any other errors and it will be like this and uh, the final else it will be I will do something we can just return or we can print something else so print let's say uh, something went wrong like this now we can use this method and in order to use it we can use it for the dotted border that we initialized in here so let's see if we can use it in here okay and now save this file restart the application and let's try it so press on choose an image and yeah it is working okay so i will pick this image and see if an error occurred or something nothing occurred perfect and now we need to manage to show the image here so let's try to implement it so let's go up to or we can use search for this dot border so in here for this container as a child we need to do a check about the picked image and why I'm doing about the picked image not about the other file which is the web image it's because for the picked image we already set it in the two different places so in this F we set this picked image to this value and in here we also set it to file A for example so this one will not be empty anymore when the user select anything so uh, let's see in here if it's equal to null we return this dotted border and if not we need to return something else so I will return in here something called image memory and give it the web image in here and I will say or give it the fit argument and say box fit and put it to fill like this but still something else we need to do a check if it's web or mobile so I will just cut this and now let's see if it is web so let's say k is web we do like this and if not we just show the image dot file and give it the picked file like this and of course we need to do an alt check and for the fit I will say fit and give it box fit dot fill just like this now I will save it and then restart the application and let's see what will happen let's try to choose anything and here it is it appeared like this so uh, no error occurred and when I uploaded an image it appeared like this